yeah, so so Claire one twenty one, uh, Wexford seventeen points. I'm here with uh, Ben Burney from the uh, from the Wexford hurling podcast. And um, Ben, in the end, a, a disappointing result, obviously. You know, for yourselves, obviously as a Wexford man yourself. Um, I suppose what are your thoughts on the game? Just very very disappointed, really. With the more so with the performance, really. I don't think the lads showed their best. You know, we were ten points down at half time, and we just. We never really clawed into that. Like we got, I think, we finished seven points in the end, but we never looked like we never looked like we were going to get it back, you know. So that's the most disappointing thing that we didn't really just didn't perform on the day. We haven't performed in either game this year, so it's very disappointing. Hmm. And I suppose, like, what do you think were some of the kind of main reasons for that poor display? Because obviously, like, they only hit nine points, I think, up until about 57 minutes. And it seemed when that Tony Kelly goal went in that, you know, they kind of picked things up a little bit after that, obviously, and kind of, you know, had a little mini rally towards the end. But, like, what do you think were kind of some of the main kind of reasons for that kind of poor Wexford display? Because obviously two back-to-back displays and I suppose very un Davy fitz like as well. Well, obviously... The loss of Lee Chin is mm. massive. You know, he's he's the talisman. He's he's the option for puckouts. He's a main scorer, and when he's missing, then it kind of <clears throat> the plan the plan kind of changes because he's so he's so vital to that. And then I also think that maybe to a certain extent, the other teams have kind of figured out what our plan is. You know, they know that we have the running game, and once they block that up, and I was said a lot in the Galway game, and I think it's it's probably a bit appropriate today as well that maybe we, we don't have that plan B option that if it's not working, that maybe we just, we need another bit of a plan to change things up. Like I, I'm a big fan of Davy. I hope he stays. I think he's done so much for us, but we do need to change things up when it's not working because this was the case again today. Hmm. And I suppose, like, obviously, you kind of touched on that Lee Chin injury. Like, obviously, you had a hamstring injury before the game. Um, but I suppose is that kind of one of the, the big disappointments maybe with this Wexford team is that there wasn't really anyone else who was able to, to stand up um, in this game, I suppose, when he was injured, that there was no one else really there to kind of put in a big performance across the whole uh, 70 minutes. I suppose so. Like, a lot of, we have a lot of very good hurlers, but we probably mm. don't have any maybe... Uh, Rory O'Connor but we don't have like we don't have a Tony Kelly when you look at that man scoring 116 like we unfortunately we just don't have that player Rory O'Connor is a possibility like I'm just thinking back now and in the first half I know he got probably more scores in the second half but if we look in the first half he got one score on the sideline running away from goal and on one side on his left hand side and then he got another point on the other sideline running away from goal on his right hand side and then he scored from the corner flag like, if there's if there's somewhere you yeah you you'd be t- happy with most players you can shoot from there you know you'd be happy enough but I, unfortunately I just don't think we have one of those players Lee Chin is our closest then Rory O'Connor but I, like I wouldn't be criticizing any of your lads they're all very game do their best for Wexford and we just needed maybe maybe a change up in some way. Mm. And I suppose, obviously, you kind of touch on Tony Kelly there, like a superb performance from him, hitting 116. Like, he's probably the best hurler in the country on form at the moment anyway, like, absolutely no doubt about it. But was it a little disappointing, though, that maybe, because obviously coming into the game, I think it was fairly certain that, like, if you can stop Tony Kelly, which obviously is harder or is, you know, easier said than done. But I think, was it a bit disappointing that maybe he was able to kind of break away for that goal and, and hit the points that he was and that maybe, you know, Wexford didn't really have too much of a game plan to really stop him? Um, maybe a little bit disappointed in that the game plan to stop him did work. But as I was saying there, like the first half, the job was signaled to Matt O'Hanlon to pick him up in the first half. And the scores he got in the first half were like, well, just nothing you can do because where he's scoring him from. The second half, like when he got the goal, Wexford had to push up at the time. You know, we had no choice because we had no choice because we were so far behind. So we had to take a risk at the back. So we can't, the, the space at the back, we can't be blamed in you know in the second half but I'd more I'd more look back on why we weren't going for goals a bit earlier when leaving the space back for Tony Kelly like he's a class hurler always has been I would have liked if there was a bit of a better plan maybe a speedier person hmm. looking after him because I don't think Matt Hanlon was able to keep up with him at all but you know 
Hmm. And I suppose, like, is there any kind of positives you can? I know, obviously, like right now, it's kind of, you know, it's it's tough to take, especially after back to back defeats. But is there is there any positives really from this game that you can kind of take away? You know, going into next year, or is that kind of that's not really on your mind right now? God, it's not on my mind that right now. Really, it's just very disappointed in the way the way they kind of went out. You know, it's just such a such a flat. You know, ten points down at half time, and never really never really got going never looked like winning never looked like getting close really like we had I, I kind of struggling to think of a goal chance I think I remember the keeper making a save in the first half from Rory O'Connor didn't connect really properly and there was another one actually where the ball a long ball dropped in and the keeper Lee Chin was fighting for it in there and the keeper won a free because he fell over himself but uh, you know in reality that wasn't it that wasn't the chance that we created we probably went for a few goals then at the end that they weren't really on, but I, I don't know if there's meant too many positives. Just have to regroup, I suppose, and have a look at it. But I'm ho- hoping that Davy says on and he that he he'll be the one having a look at it. Yeah, and I suppose yeah, because you kind of touched on it there. Um, like speaking about Davy Fitz, obviously. Um, like, is there any worry even that maybe because obviously after his comments in the in the last game, you know, when he got beat by Galway, is there any maybe worry that maybe he might you know, take a step away now from this role and uh, as manager, is there any fear maybe that, you know, Wexford might actually go in a completely different direction from Davy Fitz? Because obviously, you know, that style of play, like you mentioned before, they don't really do have a plan B at the moment. So is that maybe the kind of the main worry kind of looking into the future now? Uh, probably a worry. Like, I'm not sure what way they would go. Like, I, I know many people think, oh, we're playing with a sweeper now, so we have to go with Derek McGrath because he plays a sweeper as well. Like, but like I, I don't know who would be the best man for a job if Davy left, but like I don't know. It's such a it's such a tough thing and be such a tough decision who to give the manager a job to if he did leave. Hmm. And I suppose just looking at it now from from the, an outside point of view, like who do you reckon from here? Obviously, we have our final six now after Tips went over Cork. So I suppose like who do you reckon from here will will go and win the All Ireland? I mean, I imagine like Limerick are kind of looking like the team to be at the moment. Limerick are the ones you have to look at because they've been phenomenal. Like, and I was tipping Galway to win, to win Leinster. I think they have an incredible team and they were very impressive against us. But looking at our performance today, maybe, maybe we just weren't at it at all. And so we'll find out a lot more when in the Galway Kilkenny game. But I'd still be looking at Limerick. I still think they're the best. Tip improved a lot in the game just gone. But I still didn't think they're they have a lot more improving to do if they're if they're gonna if they're gonna win mm-hmm. it. Yeah, definitely Limerick at the moment are looking are looking like a serious team. And I suppose we're gonna have to to see how they get on tomorrow. Um now obviously your own kind of uh, hurling podcast. Um do you wanna talk a bit about that and kind of where, you know, I'd imagine there'll probably be some some Wexford people watching this. So like would you be able to say like where where they'd be able to find you and kind of what that's all about? <laughs> Yeah, we're just, um, myself and my cousin, we're just two big Wexford Harlem fans and we follow the Wexford team wherever they go. So we're just like literally, talk, we're talking Harlem anyway, talking about Wexford Harlem anyway. So we just get the best guests we can on. We've had Larry O on for Great Crack. We, have, we had a podcast with David Redmond and Willie Cleary on during the week. But we're on all the, wherever you get your podcast app, we're on SoundCloud, Apple, Spotify. You find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know be great if everyone could give us a listen yeah perfect um yeah definitely what i'll do is i'll uh, i'll link everything down below anyway so people can feel, feel free to to definitely I'd go also, and uh, um, check that out i'd also like to say if anyone like wants to get in contact with us and say who you want to have us on the podcast just get in contact and we, we'll get back mm. to you yeah definitely definitely sounds good um well yeah anyway uh cheers ben for coming on and um and yeah look listen hopefully anyway next year you know, Wexford can, can give a real stab at it. I'm sure they'll uh, they'll definitely come back stronger anyway after a, a disappointing year. I believe. Thanks very much, Aaron.